Hi, first graders. It's nice to see you again. Earlier this week, you helped me to mark up my book with all the important parts so that I would be ready to retell my story today. Remember, the strategy we're using in our suitcase is to retell the important parts of a story. We read Iris and Walter, and today I'm going to tell, give my retell to my daughter, Lexi. Hi. And you will get to retell your story to someone at home, and you also have the option to record a short video on Flipgrid with your retell to share with all your friends. So that is a lot of fun. We like doing that. You like yes. doing that with your class too, right? Yes. Yes, absolutely. So here we go. As I open the book, I'm going to receive the post-it notes that I put there earlier to remind me of all the important parts that I want to retell in this story. So like the book we were reading is called Iris and Walter. Really? Yes. And at the start of the story, they're so excited when their teacher, Miss Cherry, tells them they're going on a field trip to the aquarium. Really? I love the aquarium. Yeah, I know. I do, too. And they do, too. They were so happy that when they went home, they told their families all about their trip. Wow. Yeah, they were excited. So... They went and met at the school the next day, and as they were getting on the bus, Miss Cherry went over all the safety rules with them. And they arrived at a crowded aquarium, and do you know what? There was a boy from another school wearing the exact same shirt as Walter. Really? Yeah, and it ends up making big trouble later on, right, boys uh, and girls? Oh. It does. So they saw all different kinds of animals, fish and sharks and penguins. But Walter's favorite spot was the coral reef. He loved cool. it. Now, Iris, her favorite spot was when they got to the penguins. And when they got there, she was holding on to her best friend's hand, and she turned to say, aren't these cool penguins? But guess what? She was not holding Walter's hand at all. She was holding a stranger's hand, a boy named Nick. Well, Nick's teacher found him right away. And Iris ran to get Miss Cherry so that the two of them could go look for Walter. Good. They looked and looked for him. I know. Good thing they were on the rescue. Yeah. Guess what? They finally found him. Still at the coral reef. He was still there. Really? He didn't even know he was lost. Wow. They were so happy when they found Walter. They finished the trip, they went home, and they told their families all about it. This is a really fun book. I agree. I love that book. Thank you, Lexi. And I want to remind you, boys and girls, that retelling a story is different than a book review. You know, I know that in your writing with Mrs. Oppenheim, you're remembering not to give away the ending of the book when you give a book review because it's like a spoiler alert. But when you're retelling a story, it's okay to tell the ending. In fact, we really need you to tell the whole story when you do a retell. Good luck. We cannot wait to hear all of your retells. Remember to use any book that you want. It could be a book you have at home, a book from Epic Reading, a book from the library on your Kindle, a book you borrow from someone else in your family. Have a great day. Bye. Bye.